Hey, welcome to Adventure Streaming, guys. We're going to do a couple of mods to the free ride, just simple stuff. I'm going to replace the stock lights and put in some nice LED fan cooled lights. Uh, I want to do a comparison. All right. They seem to be pretty high quality. I talked to Sean directly, the owner. Very good guy to deal with. Pretty simple. I'll show you, these things come pretty well packed. They look pretty amazing. You can see these are uh, pretty serious bulbs. Um, and it comes with a harness. So here's the electrical harness. Beam, here's high beam. Low beam. Stop. My understanding is just replace these. You take out these two screws and we should be good to go. We'll see. Oh, they weren't in very tight. So we got the screws off. It says push forward, whatever that means. I'm going to take this off first. Okay. Got that. <clears throat> it's pretty simple. Just plug. Alright, so that's all we had. One. That's it. So, here are our lights. Obviously going to unplug these. Two. I'm going to see how this is going to work. This is going to work. Okay. That looks good. There we go. I got the GoPro on. Alright, that was easy. Trying to tighten that. Looks like it fits pretty tight. See how it looks in there. Alright. Oh, that's tight. Wow. Alright, that's in the original. Well, we're gonna try it. Wow, it looks a lot brighter. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna plug in the stock. That side, my right, is the new LED from SII. The left one, the yellower one, is stock. So, that went pretty well. Let's unlock this, turn it counterclockwise. Here's the stock bulb. Right. <clears throat> I think this time, I'm going to plug this in first. There we go. Then we're going to turn on the fans. There, we just turn that. Okay. That's in there. Now we'll see if both of them work. This shot's cool. longer trajectory. 
trajectory. But this is how we typically ride that stock. All right, now we're gonna go to the new lights. All right, so this is the new SII bulbs that we put in. And I'll try to run these alongside. That's, that's low beam, high beam. Low beam, high beam. That's pretty impressive without the auxiliary. I mean, remember these were $120 for the bulb. The auxiliary was $400 plus you gotta install it. The installation for these bulbs took me 10 minutes. Turn this one on now too. So okay, yeah, I mean side by side. There you can see how this is definitely brighter, that one's yellower. What do you think? I think I think those are way brighter. The, the, the new light bulbs? Absolutely. I mean you can just see the reflection off the snow, it's definitely lighter. It's a lot crisper. Now too. his <coughs> high beam stock. <clears throat> and then high beam with these bulbs. That's a big difference. Huge. Big difference there, guys. Okay, but now put them back down off a of low beam. Now when you put on the auxiliary, that's that's getting pretty impressive. But it still sees a little brighter. Yeah. On with the light bulbs on I the agree. on the free ride, doesn't it? It's pretty darn close, but wow. So Right now, my opinion, it might change over the weekend for $120. You just change the light bulbs, you know, versus $400 plus an hour installation. But hey, everybody's got their own choices. I'm just trying to share some information. This is what I've learned. And uh, I mean, you can, you can even tell from here, they're definitely brighter. Definitely brighter, even with the auxiliary though. I mean, I won't knock those auxiliaries, but I don't think they're worth spending the extra almost $300. No, when you can upgrade for right. a, a little bit over $100. Right, yep. Absolutely. And, um, and the installation for that auxiliary light is a lot of time. So, at least it was, right at least it was on the 16. Now they do have a new auxiliary light for the general generation four. But I don't know if they changed the lumens. I just think that they changed the, um, you know, the way that it installs. installs okay. Yeah. So, anyways, there's some information for you. You know, hopefully it makes you helps you make some decisions. But I think safety is a huge issue. Not only being able to see, but to be able to be seen. And um, you know, everybody works hard for the money. A couple of things you might want to be interested in and evaluate yourself. Hey, thanks for watching Adventure Streaming, guys, and hopefully this comparison helped you out. And if you get a chance, please subscribe if you haven't already. It helps the channel. And Happy New Year, and I'm really looking forward to 2018. Until next time, enjoy your adventures.